so the things which are permitted during fasting so first thing is first thing is cooling oneself so one can cool himself or herself by taking a bath or a shower or by putting a wet towel over oneself as it is mentioned in the hadith of uh, abu daud hadith number 2365 that prophet muhammad sallam poured water over his head while he was fasting due to uh, due to thirst or either excessive heat so one can cool uh, oneself second thing is that uh, one can rinse his or her mouth Uh, with water and also can put the water in nose but one should one should not exaggerate putting water in the nose as it is mentioned in the hadith of abu daud hadith number 2366 that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that uh, uh, exaggerate putting water into your nose unless you are fasting because if you are fasting if you put water into the nose it can go into the stomach and it can break your fast so one should be cautious while putting water in the nose so uh, third thing is about uh, giving blood so if you are giving blood for test for a blood test or either for testing sugar then that is permitted but uh, also if one is donating blood and if one finds that uh, he will not have any weakness or he will not be overcome by weakness then he can also donate blood as i have discussed in the previous video with regards to blood letting also so one can do that also can donate blood also that is permitted if one is not fearful of getting uh, too weak uh, so next thing is that uh, one can kiss or embrace one's spouse it is mentioned in the hadith of bukhari hadith number 1927 that hazrat aisha radhiyallahu anha she said that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to kiss and embrace his wives Uh, during fasting while he was fasting so uh, that act is permitted that you can kiss or embrace your wife uh, but one should have control over oneself so that is also permitted so further uh, next thing is that to be in a state of uh, ceremonial impurity that is uh, in the state of janaba in the morning so and then continue the fast so it is mentioned in the hadith of bukhari hadith number 1925 and 1926 narrated from hazrat aisha radhiyallahu anha and umm salma radhiyallahu anha so that prophet muhammad sallam used to get up in the morning in the state of junub in the state of uh, impurity then he used to take a bath and then continue then observe fast so one can wake up in the morning in the state of janabat in the state of impurity then he can take a bath and then continue fasting so people have this confusion that uh, if you wake up in the morning and you are in a state of uh, uh, impurity that is in the state of janabat sexual impurity then uh, some people leave the fast that they are uh, impure then they have to take ghusl and uh, so they leave the fast so th- that is not correct one can keep the fast even if he wakes up at the time of fajr or later also he can keep the fast if he has uh, already had the intention of keeping the fast th- but he should immediately take a bath further uh, other things which i will mention which are permitted and people have doubts regarding that that is uh, applying perfume applying kohol that is surma in the eye that is also permitted also putting oil also is permitted then uh, using miswak or toothbrush that is also permitted uh, and uh, and also the medicinal injections they are also permitted one can take medicinal injections that i have discussed in the other video also so injections can also be taken which are medicinal so not the injections which are giving nourishment like uh, dextrose or uh, iv fluids etc so they are actually n- nourishment not the medicinal injection so medicine medicinal injections can be taken so these are the things which are permitted which you can do during fasting